Hi, I received this week, last week, and even before, a lot of comments and questions about dancing, especially the steps of dancing. And I found a lot of co uh, a conflict, uh, which uh, was very difficult to understand from many of our or my friends. For this reason, I decided to create this video to let you understand and explain actually everything about it and to let you understand it right well. So, let us go and do it. Dancing built on three different axes, the performer, the stage and the audience. If we haven't one of these three axes, dancing will be nothing. I mean the show will be nothing. For this reason, we have to understand actually which type of them can do what and uh, how the conclusion and the end. There are three different uh, types of forms, I mean uh, kinetic forms, we have to understand it right well, which, will, which it will uh, explain to us or solve the conflict of most of us to understand the different types of motion performance as we say uh, if it is type of dance or not or what. The first uh, point is the violent uh, kinetic performance which it belongs to the soldiers or to the army. Uh, the soldiers, uh, you can find them fight and uh, uh, do something either in their uh, uh, training or through wars. So you can find them fighting and uh, looking all the time for uh, to win, to win. This is very important for them or this is the most important point for them. So you will find a lot of blood and a lot of fight and many things like that. This is the first point. The second point is the athletic kinetic performance. It is the same, but not actually with blood or something like this. It is type of fight, but to win or to lose depends on. And of course, it uh, it's filled of uh, muscle strength to uh, defeat uh, the opponent. This is the most important point for the second uh, 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 element I said to you. Then we have another element which is very important. Yes, also we call it aesthetic kinetic performance. This is, uh, uh, this is filled with aesthetic kinetic expression uh, which uh, generated uh, from the uh, emotion uh, feelings. This is our emotional feelings. This is very important to understand dancing. So, the three different types, all of them have, or yes, they use it, or the, the, the groups use it. Dance is the groups, or individuals. War is the groups, or sometimes individual. Depends on uh, uh, what type of fight it is. So, this is exactly, yes, also in, 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 in the uh, violent uh, uh, kinetic performance. Also in uh, uh, aesthetic, or let me say uh, athletic, let me say first, the uh, uh, athletic kinetic performance. It can be one person or it can be a group. I mean solo or a group. So two persons or two groups, they are trying one of them to win onto the other or to win and the other will be lose, of course. And if you look, for example, uh, the soccer or a football game, you will find two uh, groups, they are playing together in one field, which we can call it a stage, and sur surrounded by uh, uh, audience. A half of this audience belongs to this group and the other half belongs to the other group and in the middle they are fighting, one of them will lose and one of them will uh, when the same also with the audience uh, part of them they will be very happy and the other part will be very sad so this is completely different than fight 
with the uh, violence. So this is completely different. Then if we look at the uh, uh, aesthetic kinetic performance, we will find immediately either one person, with, which it means solo, or a group together, they are dancing. Most of the audience, they are with the group or with the solo. Either they love her or love them or not, depends on. But it's not be something looks like fighting or uh, 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 killing each other. This is very important to understand and it's filled with, as I told you, uh, the uh, uh, emotional feeling. So this is completely different than the other two uh, points. Here we can understand the difference between these three points or three elements. Plus also, if we look at the compete, we will not find a competition between the dancers on the stage, but uh, on the field we can find this competition either in violent or also in uh, with the sport people or I mean the athletics people uh, so this is completely different I, 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 I want to tell you something about the competition uh, the last few years we start to have a lot of competition between dancing or dancers of course it's good no problem in this but the problem is it takes the type of dance or this type of dancing to be athletic not dancing so it will change it to be something else so this is very important you have to keep in mind when you uh, do this type of uh, of, uh, of art through a, a competition also in dancing it is not a, a, a competition it is emotion coming outside either either inner emotion or outer emotion it comes outside through something we call it a habit or tradition we give it or we translate it or transmit it to the audience then the audience can understand it right well so this is another point we have to keep in mind in dancing the three different points i explained them now to you or I, yes i explained them to you they use or uh, or uh, uh, the performers they use a fitness of course the fitness is very important for all of them but when the fitness makes it where the with the muscle uh, the strength of muscle it will be a violent much more violent when it makes it with a, 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 a little or a half of uh, muscles or huh? I mean uh, strength muscles it will be a sport when it Max it with emotion, it will be a dance. This is exactly the measures we can use it to understand the steps and to understand what is uh, what is going on in front of us. Also, we have not forget the context. The context is very important to let you understand what is in the front of you, what's going on in the front of you. For example, for example, if I see two persons, they are fighting together or they are fighting each other on the stage, it means exactly this is type of act. But on the street or in the street or in the war, immediately I will think either they are fighting each other or is or it is type of war or it is a war but the same exactly when I see them in the field in a sport field they are fighting together I will understand immediately that it is a type of a sport and of course if I have feeling coming outside I mean emotional feeling coming outside through my dance steps oh I'm sorry through my performance kinetic performance it is exactly I have to say exactly this is type of dance we can take these three elements what I explained that to you I explained to you or what I uh, 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 showed you now through my talking and you can take them as a measurements to understand the, um, the types of uh, motion performance in the front of you which will let you understand exactly if it is type of dance or type of sport or it is type of violence so this is very important but you have to keep in mind all the time if you want to translate what is in the front of you actually you have to translate it inside its context 
or you will lose the translation or you will do a wrong translation. These points or these points I already did uh, or I already wrote it in one of my researches five years ago or six years ago. And it was strange for uh, uh, my colleagues when they found immediately that there is something strange I'm talking about. The problem was the athletics they used or they uh, uh, hide or they take kidnapped the dance or dancing through their fields to let them or to uh, say that this is type of a sport. Of course, every step is a, a kind or type of a sport. We can look at it from this window like this, but the context, very important. Put it on its context, then you will understand what is the meaning behind it or what is the meaning about it. So this is the story. This is the, uh, what I'm talking about. I want you, I hope you understood every uh, point uh, from these points. And I, I will be very happy when I receive your comments about it. Uh, to tell me your opinion about it, how you understand the steps, how you can use the translation uh, or how you translate the steps outside the context or inside the context and uh, exactly uh, how you can use, for example, the sport steps inside your dancing or the violin. Do you think you can use vi using violin inside your dance steps or inside your choreography? I don't think so. This is very important points and this is the point of view you have to keep in mind when you create your choreography or also when you see a, a, a type of kinetic performance in the front of you then you will understand it right well. I'm so happy that you uh, uh, heard me and you saw this video and of course um, so I will be very happy also if you are uh, if you would subscribe uh, on my channel and I will be waiting for your comments and thank you very much.